Well, that question in itself assumes that there will be progress and that there will be moral progress, scientific progress, technological progress. I'm fairly confident about, you know, technological and scientific progress. I'm not confident about moral progress. Uh, you know, we've, we've maybe become adjusted to the idea that things always get better, that, for example, the number of democracies in the world goes up, that poverty goes down, etc., and that even though there's still a lot to do, the general trend of history is good, or, you know, the Martin Luther King quote, the, the, the bend of the, what is it, moral universe, it bends towards justice. But I think that's a really, uh, it's a fallacy. There's, there's, there's no such thing as the will of history. History doesn't judge anyone. History is just history. It's just a bunch of facts. It's just one damn thing happening after another, as they say. It's people that, that make progress, right? And um, um, there's nothing inevitable about that. Yes, hopefully we'll look back in 2050 or 2100 on the extraordinary uh, accomplishments, you know, that we've stopped factory farming, that we've eradicated poverty, that we've done so many other awesome things. But there's nothing, nothing inevitable about, about it. Uh, I, if there's one main thing that I try to convey in all of my books, it's, it is that. Nothing is inevitable about the way our society is, is structured today. And we can all change that, but it doesn't ha happen automatically. It just starts with, with this, Margaret Mead talked about it, small groups of thoughtful, committed citizens who wake up and realize, well, if not me, then who else? Mm -hmm. Why not? Let's try and do something. Yet your book is subtitled, and this will be my last question, A Hopeful History. So you seem to, to be a man of hope. Yes, yes. Are you hopeful, let's say, for the I'm next always hopeful, yes. years? And there's an important distinction between hope and optimism. Right? Ho optimism is almost like a form of determinism where you feel like, oh, things will turn out to be all right. right? Optimism is, I think, a form of complacency. Um, or a way of ignoring also injustices. This would be one of my criticisms of you know, these, the work of the, the big optimists today, maybe someone like Steven Pinker, uh, is that, yes, you can, you can talk a, a lot about you know, the decline in poverty, etc., but we still have an enormous responsibility to do, to do much more than we do today. Um, and that's what hope is all about. Hope recognizes the possibility of change possibility that we can do things differently. Um, but there's nothing inevitable about it.